and what we achieve. In today's fast-paced world, many men base their value on how much they can achieve or obtain, an obsession with success that often pushes their family and friends away. The resulting insurmountable pressure can have a debilitating effect on some. However, the creators of a new Christian motivational program aim to put an end to misconceptions about masculinity. It can be a real temptation for men to shrink back out of fear, uh, not to know who they are, to be confused. Uh, to be ashamed of being men. Now more than ever, our sisters, women are looking for men, true men, to really become who they were born to be. It starts by looking to the inventor of man. It starts by taking your eyes off yourself and putting them on the one who loves you simply because you're his. The Rise Challenge was created by evangelization experts Chris Stefanik and Bill Donahue with the goal of re-engaging Catholic men everywhere via multimedia. The idea was to create this 30-day extremely practical challenge that helps orient men into what is their true identity and then how do they engage the world. What we're seeing is, is a new approach to men's ministry, a new approach to speaking to the heart of men no matter where they are, where they've been, and just drawing them to something higher. Citing the small percentage of Catholic men who attend Bible study groups or retreats at parishes, RISE organizers sought to reach a wider sample where it's most accessible, online. In addition to viewing inspirational videos and challenges tailored to men's life situations, participants are also able to find brothers, peers with whom to walk through the program in support and prayer. The online community that's been building with RISE is unprecedented. We've seen uh, young men in their 20s, senior citizens up in their 70s, uh, who are binding themselves together by sharing their deepest struggles, by praying for one another, uh, just opening the window on their own stories. RISE organizers hope more stories will be shared and more lives changed when the program begins being featured at U.S. parishes in September.